Hello everyone and welcome back here. It's your girl again, Miss Continental. It's a beautiful day out here and I trust you guys are doing great. You're doing good. So guys, before we continue on to the business of today, permit me to please welcome those who are here for the first time as well as those who were just uh, navigating the YouTube and then my video pop-up. I want to say yes, welcome on board. Uh, please support this channel by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and then you can as well turn on the post notification button by clicking on the bell icon that way you get notifications once I upload new videos. So you are specially welcome here and of course I also want to thank my new subscribers. Thank you all and God bless. So guys today I bring to you the topic of a lady who was caught by security camera stealing a hair wig wig human hair the wig the wig that you wear like a cap on your hair she was caught stealing it thiefing shoplifting whatever you want to call it in a store this actually happened in france bonjour mes amis my first reaction when you know uh the video first caught my attention was why why would anybody do that why pourquoi guys it might interest you to know that at the time of the thieving thieving she was with her son of about four years old and then there was another child and the stroller who is presumed to be like a, a toddler this lady shamelessly walked into the store, walked straight to the mannequin and removed the hair. Then she then walked to a corner like with style, style, you know, as if she's shopping around, you know, looking around. Went to a corner, stiff it inside her bag, pretending like nothing just happened. She just did it and came back again, just walking freely, very freely. And from the act, from the security camera, I can tell that this is not the first time the woman has done something like that. I want to say in that same store she's very used to it and guess what that it was her was an unlucky day for her they say every day for the thief guess what one day for the owner and the thing that baffled me is that she wasn't even smart enough to know that okay I pulled this hair out of this mannequin and now it's empty the mannequin is not wearing any hair won't people suspect me or anything she wasn't even thinking about that you know what if I were a policeman to arrest her I would not arrest her for stealing her but to have been so dumb not to be smart enough to know that you know people will easily spot that she was the last that touched it that's what I would punish her for if I had to be a policeman so anyways back to our topic so she did this and um, she left of course like I said it's quite premeditated because uh, it didn't take her so long to just go there and pull it. She probably have seen it previously. And then that day she just arranged, said this today, this is what I'm going to go do in this store. Human hair. You know, we all want to look beautiful at all costs. So she she took it and then guys, I'm just gonna play the, the video quickly, okay? And then uh, I'll be back with the rest of my analysis. Je l'ai touché ce matin, tu vois? Je l'ai bien. Et c'est 360. Les laisse qu'on peut à Il looks like because I always been thinking it is not Kate. It's in Euro cash. Yeah, 50 cash. Cash. This boy. Yeah. See the mama we get. This boy looks like Tony. That's why I've remarked this boy ever since. The guy looks like Tony. So it's a fair 490. 490. Okay. Okay. 
But I mean, I mean, the camera ni yamwe. E mori ti e mo e mori that me funa eh ogwe du mo na mo ni ne wevore before ye ke close ive na i ya ri e i ya mo camera ni ge police i o la san ive na ogwe du mo na ri so guys we have seen this video now let me quickly correct that stealing thieving shoplifting or whatever you want to call it cuts across the globe that is, it is not restricted to any particular race or ethnicity. Before people will come start the talk, say, oh, she's speaking Bini language. I deliberately did this to spite. Eh, eh, that's not the case. So let me correct that. And I'm going to play some few videos to, to kind of, you know, help to clear the air. So, yes, like I said, it's not intended to spite the Edo's or the Edo speaking community of Nigeria. Okay. In fact, before we even proceed with this um, analysis, let me quickly uh, show some videos, okay, to help us, you know, understand what I'm trying to say here, okay? So, I mean no offense. Unfortunately, they were speaking a do in that video. Actually, the, the reason for that conversation was, like, it's actually a friend of her that, will I want to say a setup or something? Because at the same time, I think this friend was trying to help her. Uh, but she was also trying to safeguard herself by recording it, although I do not agree with her playing it for the audience, for audience, for everybody to hear it, because it's supposed to be between them and for her own records, you know, just in case the lady wants to deny or wants to change the story upside down, because some people are very good at doing that. They'll say one thing here, they'll go and say something here, something else the other way. So it was good that she did that, but uh, by recording it to like keep it for proof in case of, you know, anything, but playing it to the public is what I really don't like. Unfortunately, the conversation, the discussion was in Edo. So that is why, and there's no way I can take that out. So with that, I know we, it can got us thinking that, okay, maybe this woman is a Bini woman, blah, 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 and all that. I don't know, but they are just speaking. They might not be Binis in the first place. They might just be using that language as a medium of communication. We all speak English. Are we English people? No. So, okay. So let me quickly play some videos just to show to you that this thing we call stealing, shoplifting, everything, it cuts across, across the globe. It's not predominantly with a particular community or a particular culture. It's everywhere, happens everywhere. Just take a look at these few videos, okay? And then uh, we'll continue with our analysis. <laughs> you see this video that I just played is our Etinse sister, our Etinse from Ghana. You know, she just said. Uh, <laughs> I don't feel you saw it all, Abby. Okay, that is it. Let me play you another one quickly, guys. Go break it up. Still. Still. That one is our Onyibo Pepe sister. You see, <laughs> back home, we all think that Onyibo not the thief. They are so pure. You see now. So you see, say 
you know it it cuts up across the globe okay so that's all i can explain i can't say it even better than you know these videos that you have just uh, watched so guys the reason why we pick this our edo sister as a case study is because of the nature of the crime the circumstances i mean <laughs> but one thing that is peculiar with these women these women that we just watched now don't be saying men not they steal oh. uh -huh. the men own our organized crime nobody say cobo cobo stealing but women the reason why we pick it is i mean the drive for materialism we want to go any length to impress impress who eh? we want to go to any length okay so this one and a wig human hair wants to look nice want to slay perhaps don't see somebody for instagram and she too she wants to beat the record so she wants to go and get a wig the next thing you will see is posing mm -hmm. check her chicken i mean posing click 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 i mean vanity upon vanity all is vanity okay let's talk a little bit about the children that were with her at the time of this act share my people and for those who does not understand our patwa that's pigeon pardon me okay i will try as <laughs> so that we all understand we all you know you know i will carry everybody along i will try my best possible so she if the child protection agencies in france now come after this woman first of all they they claim this and they apprehend these children because they might think that the woman's hair is uh, some colo coloism is going on i mean medulla oblongata something don't happen <clears throat> if they carry these children now what will people be saying our people in europe hey france government told oh, they are after nigerian kids they don't like nigerian people they keep overrepresenting the children in the child welfare system they are still that is why it's not good to delve into issues without actually knowing the, the beginning you know good basically you can't be like full like that if the child protection agencies now first of all apprehend those children for emotional abuse that the mother is inflicting on them we do not go talk they will say france the france children that's why every time in europe you see these things going on i'm always very careful i really want to know why what is happening you understand because they don't actually tell the story the way it is they just cut it by bit and tell you what you want to hear and then you now go to cry more go to cry wolf before we start crying wolf let us always find out the reason behind whatever happened to these women so that is that too. okay i can assure you if the police were caught to the screen she was even lucky it was a black store now black woman store like her, an evil woman they call her maureen that owns the store ah Igbo. they are very smart oh. two security cameras one of them is one of the cameras that you saw you know the other one she didn't want to play it and if it were this our new boy you know and a chain they will put from her hand it's sure they will pin her down you see the other one you bo get what they did to her i mean why the security i mean the police were on their way coming she walked out freely because the maureen i mean was very confident she get the videos everything she can't deny and later later start soliciting for her to return the wig the woman is even nice return the wig whether she have already used it to slay or take picture and post on Instagram or not to just return the wig or bring the money 300 and something euro. If you are to be a white person, she will not go free like that now. They will call the police and while the police is dealing with the criminality of the issue, child protection agencies, where well, they are busy, they carry the children, they ask them more questions. And from there, other issues will come up. That woman may not have seen, may never see her. She, she was damn lucky. And our Nigerians are still nice. So for me, I don't know what I will do in that case, Shia. Because me, I will go calculate many, many things that I have figured out were missing in that store. I will calculate everything the woman will pay. Because I will assume that it's that lady that used to come there and steal those things. That's what I would think. She, she's them lucky. And we, we Nigerians. Not be another person store. Nigerian person store that came to France to hustle. Like you issued. I don't even know what to do. Let me not... Uh, let me not even digress at all so i just really felt pity for the children and uh, i think the woman was quite lucky because not be here matter she for the talk now how to get her children back that thing is, is, is a crime 
That is a big thing. Wig. Not book. Not food. I know, like, if I'm not encouraging any kind of stealing here, yeah? I'm not saying one steal is better than the other because at the end of the day, thief not thief. But if now food, you go store, you go and steal something. Even in Nigeria, there was a case of one uh, uh, a senior police officer who came to the cell and saw that his boys locked uh, uh, one woman up because the woman store uh, sto sto plantain. He asked his boys to release the woman and he even gave the woman 10,000 naira to go shop for food. There is no police on the front side of the earth that will prosecute you for stealing uh, food. Not at all. This is not food. Even in our books, uh, of course, I mean, the government wants their citizens to be educated, to be learned, because it's, it's, it's going to help the country on the long run. So if, if you're stealing books, they say, oh, this woman values education so much that, you know, she has to steal for... She, she will be a hero. But this one, a wig. <laughs> Oh, give me something. I don't even know what to say. Oh. So, who, who do you want to impress? You want to impress by, by, by force. Like, again, like I said before, I'm not here to justify stealing of any kind, okay? The reason why I'm saying if you have to be food, you have better is because I have heard cases of policemen, even in this part of the country, in North America, where the police will actually come to a store, they will say, send our food. Like, if the police comes to Walmart, now a store, somebody stole, like somebody who stole, uh, who stole, um, Ah, let me say bicycle or okay clothes they sell clothes in Walmart right somebody stole maybe somebody steal cloth and another person steal food which one do you think the police go go pay attention to police will not even bother with the person that steals food is that one that stole clothes that the police will, will bother on let me show you this video and you will see exactly what I'm talking about how this police actually compensated this grandma she's a grandma with her, with her two children actually compensated this grandma eh, with food because she was caught in an attempt to provide for the children i'll play this video and then we'll be back again guys johnson went to buy eggs to feed her five children and grandchildren two of them toddlers they hadn't eaten in two days and with only a dollar 25 in her pocket she was 50 cents short I saw the staple on it and it said 175 and I was like, 175? Well, my mind must have snapped. I said, well, I'll take three. A worker caught her. Once I waited, I thought, well, I'm going to jail. When she started crying, she said, I just need help. I need help, Officer Stacy. I, I need to put food in my baby's stomachs. That's what got me. That, that's, what, that's what hit me the hardest. And I told her to park on the side of the parking lot. I ran in, bought the carton of eggs, and Came back outside, handed it to her. And he bought me not three eggs, but a dozen. Wrapped up in a yellow bag from Dollar General. Someone watching caught it all on his phone. People all over the world have seen it. And many are stopping by the Tarrant police station to bring Johnson and her family food. It actually reminded me of my own childhood. We didn't have a lot. Some days we had nothing to eat. And so it was just really touching and really moving to see a positive story on TV about police officers. We followed Tarrant police and officer Stacy as they delivered the donations and reunited. You want some more eggs? Oh my God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God you. Yes, ma'am. You're so sweet, you're so sweet. Well, this is not food, this is like manna <laughs> from heaven. This is, yeah. this is the best thing that has ever happened to us. Johnson told us her cabinets have never been this full. It's more than I ever thought would come of the eggs. I just, this is more than I ever thought that would come of eggs. She says in a time of riots and allegations against police officers, she hopes Officer Stacy's kindness will make an impact. And I yes, just thank you, sir. I do. I'm not the one that I don't like the spotlight being on me. I just went, you know, I just, I just did my job. I was doing what I was supposed to do, serving tech. I was serving my community. They were all not crooked individuals that are just looking to beat up somebody or kill somebody. That's, that's not what we swore to do. You know, that's not why we wear this badge every day. You see that? But now, guys, ask me, with this wig that this woman stole in that store now, what do you think the cops will do to her if they catch her? Inside prison, and she go go. She will go. They do slay queen. That slay queen. What she want to do? That competition. I don't know. We are so much 
in, 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 in a competitive age. You want to compete by all means. This one wears something. We want to wear it. You don't know. You don't know that person. How it is whole background. How that person is. In short. This one is not Nigeria now. If it is Nigeria, and they say oh, Buhari, the government is so bad, so everybody is stealing. This one is France now. This is not Nigeria. Okay, now guys, if you are to be Nigeria now, they will say there is hardship. Of course, what kind of hardship will make you to go and stay weak? You know, fifty go stay weak now. Make you know say it is our body. We should stop blaming people. We should just stop this blame game. I don't want to keep this video long, Jerry. I just say I should just come and drop this uh, little clips here and here for you guys uh, so that you can see. And um, for those of us who are very good at playing smart, stupidly smart, we think we are smart. Every day for the thief, one day for the other. You see this woman now? Uh, she did it very, very unsuspecting. She not even suspect that this thing will leak. And she was even denying to her friend who was interviewing her in that uh, Edo language. I wish there's a way we can transcribe it so that you can listen to the conversation. And at the end, I see how she just foolishly just gave up. And I even learned that she is even married though. She has a husband at home. Now the man you want to impress, madam. I mean, you want to impress your your other women who are slay queens so I, I don't know it's so it's so senseless I, I don't i don't even know what to what to say guys so anyways i hope we learn from this and if we are in that art of doing this let's stop okay because every day for the thief one day for the owner so guys like i said we should learn to cut our coat according to the material that we have not according to our size because your size might be so big and the material is small what are you going to do so cut your coat according to the material don't wish to be like someone else be happy and proud with your plastic weaver mm, i wish you guys can see me right now this head the weaver i'm wearing now is plastic eh? it's plastic and i'm very proud and comfortable in it in fact when i come out and pose even you that is wearing human hair you will look at me and say ah, why is she so proud of herself? Who does she think she is with her plastic hair? Yes, because I have internal peace, because I'm happy. It's how you feel inwardly that matters, not what people see. Because when people see you say you they flashy this thing, and then at the end of it, you go lock yourself for instance as they look silly. They deal with your stress for them. What is the point of that? Vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. So guys, we'll stop here today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please do give it a thumbs up if you like it. And if you don't like it, feel free. Express yourself and tell us why. Thanks for watching, guys. Until I come your way again, I remain your one and only Miss Continental. Stay blessed.